What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. I've heard about this book for a long time. It has been on my radar for a very long time. I knew that it was dark academia. The main reason I had been drawn to this book was because I kept hearing that it was Dramione and this is a ship that I love. I love the Dramione ship. I love Dramione fan fiction, that dark academia vibe, the enemies to lovers, like the vibes are immaculate. So when I heard about this book and I I heard that that was part of it. I was really excited. I was quickly corrected as I was listening to the story. And ultimately, this book was just not at all for me. Atlas Six is very you know, like Harry Potter-esque. We have the secret society that is guarding these texts from the Library of Alexandria, which we know that burned down. And we live in a world that does have magic. And these six individuals are tapped, basically, to see if they are going to be the next people to join like this society, to join this academy, to be able to protect these books and to continue to have access to them. However, after a year, they have to eliminate one of their midst and only five will continue on. And this is of course facilitated by the mysterious Atlas. Immediately, I don't like that this book was told from all six perspectives because just the nature of it, not all six are gonna be like my cup of tea. And the thing is, is like this book is definitely like an adult fantasy. Like it's not even new adult fantasy, which I think I would have preferred. If it had just been about Libby and Nico, it would have been like a new adult fantasy. It would have been very Dramione, but it wasn't. It was about all six of them. Like the other ones are a little bit older and their perspectives bordered on like making me uncomfortable at times. I didn't like the way a lot of the characters were portrayed. Like I did like Libby and Nico. I think they were interesting. I don't really like a lot of the directions that Libby's character went in though. I liked the one that had plant powers. I wanted to like Parisa a lot. However, like I think the author took this femme fatale and just put that on her and she didn't have as much depth and complexity as I wanted. And then the other two were very just not memorable at all for me. I found myself tuning out a lot as the story was going on. I was really only reading it because I wanted that Dramione vibe. And like, it's there a little bit, but not a lot. Like I would say if anything in this book, like it's more of like a polyamorous type of story, which was interesting, but like the shipping dynamic I wanted turned out to be more of like a friendship. It wasn't really working. And then the actual like ships just felt really weird to me. Ultimately, like I kind of wish I hadn't read this book. I started to hear like as I was getting close to finally reading it, like some weird mixed reviews about it. And I was like, oh, well, I don't know. Like I'll just check it out anyway. And ultimately like, I just didn't like it. Like it just wasn't for me and it was really disappointing because I had a lot of high hopes for it. I don't think it's badly written. I think it's just not my taste and it just wasn't something that I enjoyed reading it. So like I am giving it a C minus. I don't think it's bad. Obviously there are people who like it. I myself am just not one of those people. Also at the very end of this book without spoiling it, the last chapter or like one of the last chapters towards the end of this book literally explains everything. It's just this huge info dump as if I wasn't paying attention while I was reading, which sometimes I wasn't, but it just felt really like you don't need to hold my hand kind of thing. And the twist, like I didn't like it. Like personally, I was like, why? Why is this the twist? So I, I think it goes without saying I will not be reading the next book in the series. I think we'll just be moving on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.